when our ancient ancestors, the Rizkians, had to leave Rizk and go to Orion, a constellation with six major stars and hundreds of galaxies, they settled in the planets and star systems of Maseroth, Arcturus, and Pleiades. They needed to explore their new surroundings. So they created the Rumardian Greys, a race of explorers, by genetic engineering. But some evil reptilians decided to conquer and enslave the Greys, and make hybrids of them. They also sent them to this planet as their spies, and they still control some of them today. According to Christians, there are seven heavens, which comes from the seven star cluster of Pleiades. Jesus said in John 14 2, In my Father's house are many mansions, if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. The reptilians are tall beings with dark green scaly skin. Their leader is Hotten. Hotten was a reptilian who rebelled against his own kind and joined the fight for humanity. He is the original leader of the Ashtar Command. The Ashtar Command is a group of beings that have been watching over Earth since the 1950s. They are human-like but have less water in their bodies and look pale. In 1952, they appeared over the White House and met with President Eisenhower. They asked America to stop using nuclear weapons. But there were also beings from Venus, led by Valiant Thor, who warned not to trust the people from Aldebaran. These beings from Aldebaran were offended and went back in time to influence the Thule society, which led to the rise of the Third Reich, which still rules the world today. Hitler admired the super race with blonde hair and blue eyes. They were created by gene transplants or embryo implantation. Hitler received advanced technology and flying saucers from the beings from Aldebaran, a star in the Taurus constellation. He took them to Antarctica, a continent around the South Pole. They helped him create a superior race for the extraterrestrials. Hitler was connected to Billy Meyer of Switzerland and Claude Voriln of France, who claimed to have contact with aliens. They were part of the Ashtar Command, the descendants of the evil Halah beans, Flugelrods, or Halab who want to rule the world as the children of the light, or the Illuminati. They brought cloning to Earth. You can see some of their clones today, Bridget Nielsen, Dolph London, Jean-Claude Van Damme, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. They are obsessed with their race. They say they have their own Jesus or Sananda on their ship. They are talking about the Antichrist and they made up the story of Christ's spirit ghost. The leader of this Nordic type is Ashtar Sharon Sir. They are also in Pleiades, but they use symbols from Arcturus and Venus. In Antarctica, Hitler found a cave in the Earth. It was not Sambala, it was a tunnel, where he met beings from Aldebaran, Pleiades, Andromeda, insect-like, predator-like beings, dracos, reptilians, and other beings from Orion, where there were bad beings. They added Orion, Pleiades, Arcturus to the Bible in Job 9-9, Job 38-31 and Amos 5-8. These beings are behind the false translations of the Bible and the idea of God and the devil. They influenced the Quran of the Muslims and Sufis and the Kabbalah of the Jews. They also showed Admiral Richard E. Byrd a hidden valley in Antarctica in 1947. They say they are here for the preservation of the planet, but for who? The beings are here for themselves. Biblically, these beings would be classed as cherubim, meaning those spirits who are close or near, familiar spirits, and they are no friends to the Nagaru race. In early Europe, they were the Nordic gods and the spirit and emotional motivators of the Caucasus. The Ashtar command now synonymous with the Pleiadians, originally created the Caucasus through a process of ghostation, known today as albinization, by mixing their genes with the albino descendants of the Nagaru and Hindu peoples. The Pleiadians set themselves up as the overlords of the Canaanites, mixing the Caucasus genes in genetic experiments with various predatory animals, including the canine. This gave the Caucasus an animalistic nature, less man and more man.